Hello, everybody. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, this is Kyle Copeland, and really what I want to talk today about, especially on Thanksgiving, is my gratitude for my pornography addiction and for my uh, experience with recovery in pornography addiction. And for me, it really, there's been no greater access point uh, to repentance and recovery and connection, especially with my wife and Heavenly Father and my Savior, than through my pornography addiction. And uh, I just want to maybe shift the conversation away from this idea that somehow we need to stop pornography addiction to actually celebrate it and actually be grateful for it, that it exists. Because with that existence, we have the opportunity to co totally transform our lives and transform the way that we see this universe and uh, really, I'm not interested in changing anything about me. I'm interested in, like I said in the, the previous videos, of transforming the way I view it. And uh, for me, the moment that I was able to accept me for me, the moment I was able to accept my addiction as a blessing was the moment that I no longer needed it in my life, that it no longer had power. And throughout the, the many, many years and over decades, that I struggled with pornography addiction, the idea that I somehow needed to stop, that I needed to resist it, fight against it, right, and, and constantly put myself in opposition to it, all of that was what kept me in it. And uh, it was the moment that I let all that go and surrendered to it, surrendered to it completely, handed it over, and in that moment, I didn't need it anymore. It didn't serve me in my life anymore like it had previously. And the way it served me was to to showcase my beliefs about myself as being a terrible person. I really did think I was a terrible person. What greater way to be right about that than to be addicted to pornography and all the shame that's behind that. So once I let go of all that shame and really got to the point that I saw it as a total absolute blessing is the moment that it faded away from my life and I didn't need it anymore. And the connection and the beauty that came from my life is incredible. Um, and so I really want to focus maybe expressing that to pornography addicts, but not leave out the wives. And my wife is here in the van with me, and she's going to express her, her gratitude and what her, what her feelings are around my pornography addiction. Um, and a lot of the times the conversation around the husband's porn addiction when it comes to wives is not necessarily the most, most healthy. And I think she's done a fabulous job in creating healthy boundaries and, uh, and really stepping into a space where she worked on her own recovery and her own, her own faith and her own process to step through all this and accepting it and transforming her life. And it's been an incredible ride to be a part of that with her. So I'm going to pass this over to her and she's going to express that. Uh, here she is. You can edit this right. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Whitney. I'm Kyle's wife. Uh, we were just talking about being so grateful for all that we've been through the last couple of years with the addiction and with uh, just the recovery. Um, it seriously is such sweet, sweet gratification to be in recovery and to be able to do that with your husband and be with him. Um, it's been just an incredible journey that I never would have expected or really. I wasn't really planning on in my life, but this is where we are, and it really is just wonderful. Um, I think the best part of all of it is when Kyle was talking about the acceptance part. Um, when we found that space where we just accepted where we were, accepted um, the addiction, accepted um, the help that we were receiving, everything that came with that was just blissful, and it, it was a struggle, yes, but where we are now is just so far we've come, um, I think leaps and bounds from where we started. And I think that's the most exciting part for me is being able to continually work on something and make myself better, but alongside with my husband, making our marriage better. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, being in victim mode when we, as women, um, look at our husbands with these addictions that can be super hard. You can ask yourself the hard questions like, why would he do this? Why would, you know, why does he continue to do this when he knows it's hurting our family? And really when it comes down to the shame and the level of guilt that comes with an addiction, um, that doesn't help you and it doesn't help him either. 
Um, I think the best thing that helps is just acceptance, really just accepting where you are and working with that. And as soon as you, you can accept that, that's where the victim can step aside and you can really, really start healing and, um, really by just talking about it, it helps you and it helps others. Um, I think that's all I have to say. So what do you want me to say? (laughs) Happy Thanksgiving. We love you guys. We're excited that you want to go on this journey and maybe, maybe just change the conversation a little bit. And husbands, you can be the patriarchs of your home. You don't need to be in, in some terms castrated in the sense that now, you know, with all the guilt and shame, you somehow don't have authority. You don't have, you can't be the patriarch, the husband, the father. And really that's not true. You can be all of that even as you're going through recovery. And wives, you can be the matriarch and the nurturer of your family and letting go of all that that, that trauma. Really, and the moment that you can accept it is the moment you no longer need the trauma in your life. And that trauma just disappears. And it's, it's an incredible, blissful, perfect world where you can let all that go and let go of the resistance in the battle. And we want to express Happy Thanksgiving. And I'm so grateful for this woman for supporting me and loving me and assisting me and forgiving me in many, many ways and how much work she's done for her because the best way that she's served me is, is serving herself and working on herself. It's been one of the ma- amazing blessings to see her working on herself in our family. It's been a blessing for our children, our marriage, uh, and it's been a huge support for me. And I'm very grateful for her. I'm grateful for him. (laughs) Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. (laughs) Love you.